Is it time for you to place your child in residential care? Are you at a place where you don't know what more to do with your child? Well, today we're gonna to talk about that. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about when would it be appropriate for you to place your son or daughter in residential care or residential treatment. To give you a little bit of background, um, I wanna share with you my history and my beliefs and experience with residential care. So for the early part of my career, the first 19 years of my career of working with children and families, I came from a belief or a point of view that out of home care in almost all situations is not necessary and that generally out of home care doesn't really help the situation and in a lot of circumstances I, I still believe that's true. If children can be maintained and raised in their own home I, I strongly believe that that's the best place for them and where they should be. But there are times or situations in which it's not feasible or the best interest for the child or the family for the child to remain in the home. And I got to that place because of an experience that we had with our own, one of our own children. Um, when our daughter reached the age of 16, all of a sudden her behavior began to change and we didn't know what was going on with her. But as we tried to figure it out over time, ultimately we found out that she was in an abusive dating relationship. And so when we found that out, then we intervened. And to make a long story short, in that process of trying to help our daughter, it was a real eye-opening experience for me to be on the other side of the fence. So I had worked with families, I had worked with the system for about 15 years in helping children and families in similar situations. But when we experienced it, it was so different. And what I learned through that whole situation was at that time, our daughter really needed to be outside of the home and outside of the community. She needed to be in a safe environment where she could regain control over her life, regain control over her thoughts, and be able to identify the non-working thoughts and beliefs that had influenced her to get to the point that she was at in that relationship with that boy. So because of that experience, we decided to open a residential treatment center. And so we have a residential treatment center called Recreation Retreat that is for teen girls between the ages of 13 and 17. And over the years, we have worked with hundreds of young women and their families. And what we found is that most of the girls come into our program because they are acting out in one way or another. They're making decisions and choices that are putting their lives, their lives at risk um, or putting them in a place to where there could be significant harm or injury that could affect them for the rest of their life. And oftentimes when we talk to parents who are considering placing their daughter in the residential program, they want to know when is it appropriate. So am I intervening too early? Am I take because it's a it's a real significant step to place your daughter outside of your home in the care of somebody else. And so how do you know when the time is right? Oftentimes what we see is that the behavior is is like this that the behavior is risky um, 
and pretty intense, creating a lot of problems for the child and for the family. And then the family will say something like, you know what, if this behavior doesn't change, then we're going to have to do something more significant, you know, or we're going to put you in a program or we're going to do something like that. For a time, the behavior will get better, but then it will get worse. And oftentimes what we see is that the behavior over time gets worse and worse. So every time it gets better, but then the old patterns return, it often returns at a deeper level than it was at before. And many times what happens is with this up and down and up and down, when the situation is bad, the parents will consider residential treatment, but then it gets better. And so then they say, ah, it looks like things are going to be okay. And then it gets worse and they consider it again. Then it gets better and they think things will be okay. And then their daughter gets to be about age 17 or 17 and a half. And now the parent is concerned because they're running out of time. You know, our daughter is almost 18. We're not going to be able to get her help after she turns 18 if she doesn't want it. And so then there's this rush to try to get their daughter the help in the short amount of time. And oftentimes it's, it can be too late. Doesn't mean that it's too late long term, but it's too late maybe to get them the help right then. So what we have figured out over time is that the main thing to consider about whether or not your daughter should go to residential care or your son, and that is, is your child's behavior out of control? And there are two basic ways that the behavior can be out of control. The first is that your son or daughter recognizes that what they're doing isn't working and maybe they're asking for help or they're saying that they want to change and they want help, but the behavior doesn't change. So that's either because they're not being honest about saying that they want help or they are being honest, but the behavior is now outside of their control and everything that they're doing to try to change the behavior is not working. The second way of being out of control is more of the defiant way. So where your child doesn't see a need to change, they have no desire to change, but as a parent, you're really concerned about where this behavior may lead. You are concerned for the life of your son or daughter. And so you're unable to control them. They come and go from your home as they want. You try to put consequences in place and they don't follow the consequences. Uh, they sneak, they hide things, they lie to you, and you're not able to influence them or control them to make better choices. So that is my recommendation of when it would be appropriate for you to consider residential care. It's when your child's behavior is out of control. And again, that's when they recognize that their behavior is problematic, but they're unable to change it, or they don't want to change, but you're very concerned about the choices that they're making because it could cause serious harm to them or even cost them their life. And so you have no control over them. Under those two situations, I would recommend that you consider residential care. Thanks for watching today. If you have a son or a daughter whose behavior is out of control that you're concerned about, feel free to contact us. We can help you with more information and resources. You can visit our website below at principlebasedliving.com and be sure and subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn, make sure you follow me here.